Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. I can't believe it's Monday already. It was like the weekend was like bada bing, bada boom, gone, over. Don't even know what happened. Okay, so we're going to play around with a little bit of Well Said and with Bloom by Bloom. Now, this was one I did on my blog for a blog hop today, um, but I'll just show you how I made it because it was kind of cute and it was kind of fun. Um, hi, Joe. How are you, honey? We are going to start off with some very vibrant colors. I know some people have real issues with these colors. Um, I don't know. I kind of love them. They're very cheery. Hi, Kim. And they, a little bit, I gotta say, a little retro to me. I feel like I'm kind of going back to my old 80s days where I'm like, woo woo, you know, pulling out the bright colors. Super cute one that they often put with this. Hello, Lisa. Um, hi, Valerie. Is the pineapple punch, looks adorable with it too. You can kind of see it's very primary colorish, yes? But I do love it. It was sunny in Washington, yay! Hi, thanks Sharon for share. Thanks for sharing, Sharon. <laughs> Sorry, that was super cheesy, I know. Hi, Kathy. Okay, should we do this? We are gonna start off not with stamping. We're gonna start off with embossing today because going along with that whole 80s theme, totally, is this dot by dot embossing folder. Now, it's not one of the dynamic ones, so I was like, ah, do I really want it? You know, it's not super deep. I'm such a whiner. Um, but you know what? It's gorgeous. It's super cute, and it's like the perfect deepness. Is that right? Can you even say that? It's even a thing. Anyway, so remember, when you put things into your um, Big Shot, always make sure that your crease is the side going into the Big Shot. And I want you to think about this kind of laws of physics here. It's getting crunched at this end. And if you have the open end out here, that pressure can release out the back. But if you put it in this way with your open end going in first, now that pressure's got nowhere to go and people over time will tell you that they've actually cracked along their hinges. And you don't want to do that because that's not pretty. So thank you for sharing, Valerie. So we're going to stick it down and we are going to crank this bad boy through. Yeesh. Here we go. Hi, Denise. Crank, 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 crank. We got, hello, Pamela from North Carolina. You ready? Look at it. Isn't that awesome? Like I, Jan, you just got this one. So love this one. So I do love kind of how, I don't know, it's just funky. It's adorable. Okay, we can get rid of the big shot. That's it. I don't have to do anything else with my big shot. It wasn't a super complicated card. I just kind of loved it. So we have got that. Thank you, Sandy. And I pre-die cut the largest stitched shape circle. You guys would have died laughing last night had you seen me. So I came down and I was supposed to be working on report cards, but then I was procrastinating. And so I was like, oh, I have this card half done on my desk. I'll finish it. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Eileen. Um, and so what I decided to do was, you know, drop the report cards and start working on this card. Well, in the midst of working on the card, I realized I could not find my largest stitched shape oval anywhere, which wouldn't be the end of the world. I do have two sets of the stitched shape dies. Do you like how I have to pause when saying that so I don't spit it all out wrong? Lovely lipstick, okay, as I'm yakking. And except I've already lost one of the largest ovals. How, I don't know. I have no, like seriously, as I've said before, I don't know, maybe I ate it. I have no idea what happened to it. So at this point now I'm totally horrified because I cannot lose two of the stitch shaped oval die. I'm sorry, but I love this flower. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? It's so kind of rich and deep. Anyway, so I decide, you know, 11 o'clock, yes, uh, Kim is saying, absolutely, cleaning. I get a lot of cleaning done during report card time because I'm procrastinating. And what do I tell my children at school every day not to do? Not to procrastinate, and yet. Anyway, so I decided that this is a good time to go through every package of dies that I have because I am going to find this stitch shaped die. Now, the best part is, is I go through dies that I've had for two years and haven't used and they're like Christmas dies or whatever. And I know it's not in there, but I feel the need to check just to be sure. Anyway, needless to say, I found the die last night. All was good, but then it was too late to complete the card. Rolling on the floor, you ate it. Well, you never know. Um, it was too late to complete the card. It was too late to work on report cards. So I literally, like, I just wasted time. It was quite impressive. Okay, so that one we're going to slap that stem on. Salut! Come on, ça va? Okay, and I'm going to ink this one up in Call Me Clover. Okay, ready? And we're going to go in like this. And I love how I can see through these ones and I can kind of take it in there. Where did I find it? Okay, well, I'm going to tell you. Do you remember I did that gorgeous, um, 
Look at that. I missed it. Watch this. Do you want to see me fix it? Hang on. It was like skill here. Um, that gorgeous, um, I can't even talk now because I'm thinking too much. The Hummingbird. Ah, merci, ça va très bien aussi. Um, I did the hummingbird the other day and I knew I had done it. And I'm like, I wonder, and of course, where did I find it? It was tucked inside the hummingbird envelope. Now I totally boobed when I tried to redo that. So we're, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna cheat. We're gonna fix my little line. There, that's why you want markers, you guys. Cause when you do those things that I just did, you just cover them up and nobody except for all of you is the wiser. Next time I would have just grabbed a new one. Okay, so we have got that, which is adorable. And again, I'm using that Call Me Clover, nice and bright. Hi, Jeanette. You guys keep that snow for me. I miss it and I'm getting ready to fly. I just wanna take off and run there. Okay, so next thing we are going to do is I'm gonna grab one of my smaller blocks. I don't have a ton of my small, small ones left. But I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna go Knight of Navy. G'day, mate. Sorry, I was super cheesy. Oh my gosh. Okay, Christy, I have to tell you this. But Christy, you might tell me it's like more New Zealand accent. So as I do my fake accents, I really should not do accents. There's nothing good about me doing fake accents. One year, my boys, who are now like 14 and 15, we are trick-or-treating. Sorry, I'm having a hard time with my placement here. And no, flipped way. <laughs> I want to go on. I love you. Um, we're out trick-or-treating, and we go to this gentleman's house, and we don't go up to the door, and I think Joe's about three. He just kind of, you know does the cute little waddle that three-year-olds do up the door. And he's walking away, and I just about keeled over and died. The person he was speaking to obviously had an accent. As I hear my child at three walking away going, Happy Halloween! And I'm like, oh my gosh, seriously, did that just happen? Absolutely mortified. Yep, that was my child. It was pretty adorable. Okay, so we got that. Look at that. Look at that flower. Woo-woo! Hi, Tori and Kelowna. Super cute, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna keep those bits together. Now, while we're at it, I feel like I want to stamp a little bit on my envelope. Can we do that? Because we're gonna decorate this envelope today. I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood for envelope decorating. So I'm gonna grab the smaller, so this is the same idea, the same flower as we had before. Hello, Christine Brandt, how are you? Oh, that makes me happy. I like that face. Okay, I'm inking this one up in lovely lipstick too. And let's do one kind of right here in the bottom. And then we'll take that. Did I already clean the navy one? Why am I being so efficient with my stamps today? I'm never efficient. Super wrong on so many levels. Hello from Boise, Idaho. I just like saying Boise every time you type it, Karma. I sit there, I'm like, oh, Boise, so cute. Okay, we'll put a little one on there, just like that. And then, thank goodness, Stampin' Up is dialed. And we've also got... One of the small ones. Okay, just like open. I have to be careful when I open or else I tend to look like the Incredible Hulk. Hello, Milan. Bonjour. See, I said it properly. I practiced all day today. Are you guys done with snow for a few days? I think so. It has not snowed in, yeah, since the weekend. And it hasn't, um, it was cold today, but not like ridiculous cold. Catching me live from cold Spokane. Woo, it is cold. Hi, Julie. Okay, so we threw that on there. Now, we're not done the card. I just felt the need to stamp the envelope while those stamps were out. Okay, let's close those up. Is Julie Walsh on too? Hello, Julie Walsh. Close this one up. I am keeping my night in navy because I want to use it with one of my sentiments. So, before I lose this and feel the need to rip apart every stamp set I own tonight, we're going to put it back in the case. <coughs> now, one thing you're going to notice. Bloom by Bloom does not come with any sentiments. So you kind of got to, you know, you got to grab your other stuff and make do. But I have, this is my new go-to, you guys. I love it. So this is the Well Said stamp set. And it's two, it's a two box stamp set. And so it's got all these bits, but then it's got the bits that go with them. It's got, you know, lots of bits. And then it's got dies that go with it too. So kind of deadly. Love, love, love. So we are going to use, I want for everything. I just want everything. You know, while they were there. Okay, hang on. For everything. Got it. Steal it. We're going to slap it on here. Now, for everything, what I'm going to do is I want a really thin strip. And take this. Okay. Make sure it's inked. And then I'm going to stamp it right down tight. Just a second. I want to color underneath it so it's not white on white and I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Whoops. Now my hands are spazzing now. Right down there. How'd I do? Eh, not bad. Okay. Good. So we're going to take this and we can, can I close on there, maybe? 
<laughs> do I kind of ask you? Because you're like, yeah, uh, Ange, we don't know. Now, I do it that way because now I can take it to my trimmer. And it's way easier for me to cut off a nice thin strip. Let's see if I did it right. I did. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at that. It's got all the bits. Yes, we have bits galore here, girl. Okay, so this one, what I'm going to do is this left end, or right end, sorry, not my left. Chop that over there. And then this one I'm going to pull a little bit further out. We're going to keep that. Do not let me lose that. So when I tell you that I can't find it, it's just right up above, okay? Because we are going to have to go back to the big shop before we do assembly. So we've got those bits, yes? Now, what I do have here is I have lovely lipstick paper, apparently with stuff stuck to it. How did I do that? It's, oh, it's a piece off the counter. Um, lovely lipstick paper with already the adhesive back stickers on it, just because when you're using dyes like this, you guys, you don't want to be pulling out your little fine tip glue pens. Hello, Natalie. Um, I want to be able to kind of go right away and stick it down. I don't want to mess around and I also don't want to wear it because the reality is, you guys have witnessed it, I would wear it. Julie's at work. Well, it's a good thing. It's a good thing you're on a break. She's not just watching. Okay, so let's grab the big shot again. Oh, I lost it. There it is. I just want to use a big shot. Trust me, I can find a way. Okay, so I'm going to bring this one over here. Bring it back in. Ta -da. Oh, I know, girl. Bits galore. Okay, so we're going to put this down. Make sure you put the sticky part, like the, the backing part down. Don't face it up and put the die on top of it. Why would I tell you that? I don't know. Maybe because I've done it. Okay, so we're going to put this one on here. And you can absolutely use your magnetic platform. I'm just being lazy. You know the drill. Yes? Stick this one on top. Crank it through. Hello, Sharon Davies. Thank you, Barb. Crank it through. Got it. Okay, so we're gonna pull this. Look at my sticker. See, this is why you use this paper. Oh, Karma, you're so sweet. Thank you. I think you have the best name in the world. Is your name really Karma? If it is, I wanna. Your parents rock. That's a really cool name. Okay, I'm popping out the bits before. Got them. They're out. We're gonna get rid of the big shot because you don't wanna look at that anymore. And we're going to come, I feel like I should be doing like seven or eight Facebook Lives a night right now. Why? I don't know, because then maybe I wouldn't have to write my report cards. Hmm. Okay, so you guys need to hold me to it. Ange, how much have you done today? How much have you done today? Hello from Brisbane, Australia. Oh, love. Hi, Carol. Okay, so let's assemble. We've got all these lovely bits, but we've got nothing done with them. So we are going to take our Whisper White card base, which is right here and already ready to go. I'm going to take my nasty bone folder that you guys always cringe when you see because I do put it through. I put this one through the ringer. Now we're going to take um, that dot to dot call me clover embossed background. Got to go but totally watching the replay later. Miss you so much, Christine. We need an excuse to see each other. I need to come see my parents in Winnipeg and then I can visit you. We're going to go around this one and I know excessive, but you guys remember um, it, it uh, it's got snail on an embossed background, okay? So I want to make sure it actually stays down. I don't like it when my cards fall apart, so I do get a little excessive on those. I, is it bad if I just want to sit here and rub the paper? This feels so cool. Okay, you ready? Couldn't get away with anything in school. <laughs> it is very well loved. Okay, so we've got that. Now, the next thing we are going to grab is I'm going to steal my dimensionals from up here. And we're going to pop a few on the back of, oh, I only meant the top two, three, and the trois. Okay, pull those off, toss your bits, and we're gonna put this one, oh no, like you're not going down first, I lied. Just leave them there, leave them face up like that. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is I've got a little piece of designer series paper. It's three inches long by one and an eighth inch wide, and then this one is three and an eighth, my knight of navy, by one and a quarter. We're gonna slap those two together. She's feeling up the paper. Oh, she is, girl. Hello, Jill Ray. Okay, stick some snail on that guy. And then I'm gonna pop this one, I don't know, here-ish. There is nothing exact in card making. It's just an ish. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and I'm gonna stick this just on, I don't know, roughly like that. 
just give it a little pat pat, a little rub rub, we're all good. And then we're gonna go to this one, because this one makes me happy. And we're gonna peel that backing off of the thanks, okay? And we're gonna stick this straight over top of that one. Give it a little, stick it down, because you really wanna make sure your adhesive sticks, right? You wanna make sure he's good and down. Next thing we're gonna do, is on this side, the for everything side, I'm actually just gonna slap some snail on it. Whoa, stop spazzing out. And then on the other side, we're gonna put a dimensional. So I think in this case, I'm actually gonna have to, oh no, I don't want you, you guys are a bit thicker. Just a second, hang on, I have to think. Somebody think for me, please, because thinking is not my forte at the end of the day. Okay, I just pulled a piece off my dimensional sheet. Where's Corey? To... I'm not sure where Corey is, we'll go bug her. We need, to... I'll go find her. Cool. I know, because she didn't, uh, I was on time today, so she didn't have to text me and say, Ange, where are you? Okay, we're going to put this one on here. And, oh, you're too far. I don't want you hanging off the card. Thanks for everything, but I do want him hanging off the blue. Okay, so we're going to pop him onto there, just like that. And then, it's not done. Oh, we are not done. Don't you go running away yet. So now, oh, I don't really want to, I'm going to use this one here. Okay, so we're gonna pop in here. Now these are the coordinating, you guys, if you haven't seen these, these are the Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots. Yes, and they coordinate with all those happy bl Happiness Blooms designer series paper, um, and they are all gorgeous. Now, I'm gonna tell you, my trick to using these, I'm gonna be honest, I don't even use my take a pick tool. I don't use anything for these. I actually just generally take them, and I smoosh them, whoops, I'll do it this way, right off the side. Here we go, ready, set. And smoosh. Oh, you guys, she'll love that. You're so cute, Sharon. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here and I think I'm gonna slap one of my lovely lipstick ones over here. Okay, and I'm just gonna do that same thing. I'm just gonna push them off. Jump, that's it, go, go. Ha ha, there. And then I think we'll come right down in here and I'll grab one of my navy ones. I'm gonna go stick you. Super sweet, love it. So not a complicated card, you guys, super cute, but let's finish it up. So next thing we're gonna do is I have stamped that envelope, but I have also, I've got a mess, I've cut a piece of coordinating designer series paper, and it is five and three quarter inches long by about, I was gonna say it's about two and a sixteenth, or sorry, two and three sixteenths, because I wanted it to cover my envelope flap, okay? So now we're going to go foop, all right, we're not gonna foop because that one's empty. Just a second, finished it. Because I'm an excessive snailer. Foop, foop, and foop. And then we're going to slap it down. You ready? Uh-huh, Got it? Now, when you get to there, flip it over, okay? Because you've already got a template, you don't have to go getting all crazy. And all you're gonna do is make sure you've got some nice, sharp paper snips. If you don't have the Stampin' Up! paper snips, you need them. But I'm just gonna warn you, when you first get them, I'd keep a Band-Aid handy. They're pretty sharp. Not ones you want to let your five-year-olds play with, okay, you guys? I have scissors that I don't even, like, seriously. You, there's no way you're cutting paper with. They're so bad. I know, Valerie, eh? because think about how you have end up. Like, let's be serious. When you cut designer series paper for a card, how often do you... I can't get myself to catch there. Um, how often do you have strips left in your package? And they end up kind of as this paper, as paper retires or I have nothing big enough. I tend to just waste it and I don't want to do that. So it kind of is a cute little finish up. So now our envelope has got a sweet little flat. We've got the cute little stamped image on there. And then we have got a gorgeous thanks for everything. There's my original one there. Oh, pretty darn similar. Anyway, you guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I will be back to see you on Wednesday with, get this, not one, no, no, not one, but two cards. I'm so excited and I love them, love them, love them, love them. So I will see you on, on Wednesday at five o'clock. Now I'm gonna have to go work on my report cards because my video is done. Bye guys, take care, have a great night. Remember, uh, you can either scan the QR code with your phone and it'll take you straight to my shopping section if you live in Canada. Or you can head to shop now, or sorry, shop with NorthShoreStamper.com and put in that hostess code and earn some extra freebies. Au revoir.